Okay, here's another uh, process or automation on how to place a face-based family like outlets, receptacles for electric car in a wall. So this one, we will not inter uh, intersect any elements or clash. We will just use the wall and then select the wall, start an endpoint or midpoint. And, and from there, you can specify which point you want to start the midpoint, the start, and the end point. Okay, so again, this is so this is the origin to origin, and this one is the mirror. This one is the rotated, and then I mirror here. So we try all the different uh, orientation of the walls. So maybe let's try this one. Okay. So here's the script. So I already selected the input here. Select the link. Okay, and then run. And then I select the face. Okay, this one. And then we select the wall. So one wall. Escape. So do you have now the line? So if I click here. this one the wall line is here this one so ignore this one I think I do ignore this one so no more intersect we remove this one okay we'll just focus here okay so in here this is the center line of the wall the curve of the wall so it's already transformed the coordinate system this is the line direction then after that I'm going to get the curve start point so start point and end point of that um, of this line this geometry curve okay so if I select here So when we run this one, it will now create that point. So this is the end point, start point. But and, okay, but I think we're not using this one. So we're using the offset of of this uh, transform line. So instead, we go here. Uh, this one. This one So this one is the ge geometry translate. So what this means that we offset this one number offset level the z of this curve. So when I change this one, let's say eight hundred, uh, say one thousand five hundred, just for example, I run this one, it will move. Now I think this is the line that we're going to use rather than this. This one, the below. We're not using this one. So what you need to do is just transfer this one here. Okay. So once you transfer this one, start an endpoint, and then you run again. So you have now the start an endpoint in this uh, offset. Wall. Okay, from here we will create a line start. Ah, sorry, this one start point and end point. So 
you want to learn in Dynamo, then what you need to do? So you you, you always practice. Uh, before I don't know also this one, no? curve start point is confusing, but as you uh, practice and more familiar with it, then you're more familiar with the nodes. So this is all the nodes. So once you already get the start and end point, you just place here line. Okay, in start node, so you select this one. Then you run again. Run automatic. You select this one. You have now the line. Then from here, you can type here curve parameter. Curve parameter at point. So you can place this. Actually, we try this one. And then the default is zero for this point. It should be zero point five. Let's try this one. So I think I made a mistake. Parameter. Point at parameter. Parameter at point. This one. I think this one. So this is the curve, 0 0.5. So for the parameter value, it will only uh, 0 to 1. So you just specify 0.5. You have now your, based on the line that we created, you have now your center point here. So I'm thinking you can either start here from the wall, the to place a family or start in the middle. Let's try also this one. If we can directly get the curve point parameter for this one. I select here and click again this one. So I think for this one, no need, no need to know. Uh, we can, we can remove this one. So we have now the two points here. This one, another point. This one also is another point. So it's so there are many process how to extract the point from this uh, offset uh, curve. Okay, so from here we can now um, offset some points. Okay, so either so I have already prepared here. Just drag it above. So this is the line direction. So you can just select it here. It's important because we're using a vector. So this one, um, we have ready the point. So we can. We'll just drag it here so this one you can remove this one so that you will not confuse uh, for the bed no need for this one also so you have now the this is important you have the center point if you uh, for this example I will use the center point to place the face base family uh, from here um, Start point. Okay, so this is the spacing. Actually, we can ignore this one. So you have here the start point. If I place it here, it will create a. Uh, it, it will create a line. Okay. So. This line, either this will be your offset spacing, so you can just offset. 
from center. So, so from here, of the, if this is your offset from center line, so let's say uh, 1,500. select this one you have that offset so you can specify okay. and then if you want to place three families then you have to uh, this one also if I click here the start point from here from here so when I select this one I have now the series of start and end point or you can also get the end point of this line and from there you can start your series of uh, points. So my, my, okay, I'll show you here. Run this one. So this is the curve end points. I'm showing you. So this one from the center point it's 1500 length. Now I'm going to for this line I'm going to extract the endpoint. So here it's not yet indicated so I can place it here. And as you can see I have now the uh, endpoints. So from there I can So from here, I can also place additional points here. It depends on you. Either you start here at 1, 5. Oh, sorry. This is the 1, 5. So this is your spacing. So from here, you can now start also an additional uh, line start point. So, so if you want to start three points from this end point, so you can also. So I will just drag this one start line now this will be your no start point and then your length may be let's say the spacing of the let's say 125 so place it here so if I click this one you have now the small point there it's not showing but if I drag again this end point And click here so you have now two points there so it's like a series I'll just delete this one I'm confused so just take it slowly now okay so from again from the midpoint So this is your curve point parameter, the center of this curve. From there, we offset 1,500. So if I change this one, so let's say uh, 600, all these two points will follow because they are linked together. Okay. So see, it's, it will move. Now I want to add additional points also. From here, so this is how you master the points or uh, extracting the line, and you want to place the. Okay, so I have now three points here. So this one, this one, and this one. So I'm almost finished. Maybe I will create another video. So extracted and replaced already. So this all these three points will follow upon this whatever distance you are placing 1,500. If you want to place a negative here, it will also offset to the other side. See this one. So okay, I think I'm almost 15 minutes. So I will continue to the next video for this one.